I think I was just wired for horses somehow, and nobody really knows about how people are wired for something. When I was very, very young, whenever somebody said beauty or beautiful, in my mind, I would see a horse running across a field into meadows. I had this passion. And I thought, all this knowledge, all this love of horses, I can't let it go. What can I do with it? And I thought, you know what? I'll breed because I bred five wonderful children. Maybe I can breed one horse. <laughs> and I didn't know anything about bloodlines or anything, but I started finding out. I have a little business going and I have clients. So we had 29 mirrors and foals. Of that, five are mine. Being a New York Breeder of the Year is a tremendous honor. There's some great breeders that I admire tremendously. I'm glad I won it twice because the first time you would say, oh, that's a fluke. She just, she, it was a fluke that she got it. So I said, please God, let me win it again. There is nothing in the world like watching a horse you bred come down the stretch and win a race. There's nothing because you've been there from the beginning. Everybody should be a breeder. You'll never get this when you buy a horse, never. It makes me feel like God <laughs> because I really have created something because I, you know, I, I picked the mother, I picked the father, and I mean, as close as you can get to creation, that's it. It's a very powerful feeling and it's a very responsible feeling. Never gets old. Never. I mean, I, to me, it's a blankety blank miracle. Every single one, because when it goes all right, it's beautiful.